The last Soufre volcano has erupted after decades. But what does this mean? According to National Geographic, there are about 1,500 active volcanoes around the world, most of which are formed on points in the planet where tectonic plates meet. There are various types of volcanoes, including shield volcanoes, calderas, mid-ocean ridges, and in the case of La Soufrière, stratovolcanoes, appearing as large mountain-like structures. Only, these aren't exactly always safe for your rock climbing hobbies. La Soufrière is located in the northernmost area on the island of St. Vincent. The northeast rim of the 1.6 kilometer wide summit crater was formed by an eruption in 1812. But what is an eruption? National Geographic says an eruption starts deep in the earth, where the earth's core superheats and melts rock, turning it to magma. This lighter material then rises to the surface, where it escapes through vents in the earth, which we call volcanoes. These eruptions cause magma to be expelled from the surface and forces hot gas and ash out of the volcano into the air and down the sides of the volcano at up to 100 miles per hour, burning everything it touches. What's La Soufre's eruption history? The Smithsonian Institute tells us that the first recorded eruption took place in 1718. That and the 1812 eruption produced massive explosions. Later, much of the northern end of the island was devastated by a major eruption in 1902. That coincided with the catastrophic Mount Pelee eruption on Martinique. Then, in 1971, another eruption was triggered forming an island within a lake that filled the crater. A series of explosive eruptions in 1979 destroyed the 1971 dome and ejected the lake. What's happening now? Fast forward to 2021. The La Soufrière volcano has erupted once again on April 9th, beginning at 8.41 a.m., shooting an ash cloud 8 kilometers into the air and displacing thousands of citizens in more than one explosive burst. 